Hi, it's Miss Dana, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about food. This week we're learning about food, like where they come from, what types of foods we should eat to have a healthy diet, and how different foods are made. A few weeks ago, we learned all about the parts of a plant, and today I thought it would be fun if we looked at different foods we eat that come from the different parts of a plant. We learned about a few different parts of the plant, such as the roots, stem, leaves, flower, things like that. And I have a few examples of fruits and vegetables that we can eat that are each a different part of the plant. Let's start by talking about roots. Roots grow under the ground in the dirt and their main job is to suck up water from the dirt or the soil and bring it to the rest of the plant. In that water is also something really important. Nutrients such as vitamins and minerals that are in the earth are really important to help the plant grow. The roots are what bring all of those important vitamins and minerals to the rest of the plant. An example of a root vegetable that we eat is carrots. This is a carrot. This part, the orange part that we eat, is what grows under the ground. So when carrots are growing, you actually can't see the carrot, you see the plant that grows out of it. Here are the stems and the leaves of the carrot plant, and here is the root. We eat the root of the carrot. It's full of lots of important vitamins and minerals that we can eat and that are good for our body because they are a root vegetable. Next, let's talk about stems. Stems' main jobs are to carry the water and nutrients from the roots to the rest of the plants, such as the leaves and the flower. They also need to be strong to hold up the plant so it can reach toward the sunshine. Plants need sunshine in order to make food for themselves. One type of stem that we eat is celery. You can see down here by the white part of the celery, this is closer to where the root of the celery plant is. And up here, there are some leaves. We usually don't eat these, but Izzy loves them. This strong, long part is the stem. We eat the stem of the celery. And if you look closely, you can see some lines along the plant and along the stem. Those are the veins that go from the roots through the stem to the rest of the plant that carry all the water. Celery is made almost completely of water and it's a really delicious crunchy snack that you can have. Next let's talk about leaves. Leaves have a really important job for plants. Leaves allow the plant to make food. They usually are a dark green color and the green particles in the leaves are what turn sunlight and air into food for the plant. This is an example of leaves we can eat. This is spinach. I like to put spinach in smoothies and you can also have salads with leafy greens like lettuce or kale or baby spinach are really delicious in salads or on a sandwich or other types of foods too. Leafy greens are a really important part of your diet. You can see these are a really beautiful dark green color. That tells you that they are full of vitamins and minerals that are good for your body. Fruits and vegetables, especially those that have dark, rich, beautiful, bright colors, are really good for your body. And it's important to make sure you're eating at least four or five a day. Next, let's talk about the flower. You might be surprised, but broccoli is actually a flower. Similar to broccoli, cauliflower is a type of flower, and that's part of how it got its name, cauliflower. You can see the hard stem, and this even has some of the leaves still attached to it that are a part of the plant, and at the top is the beautiful broccoli floret. That is the flower. This is the part we eat. We eat the flower of the broccoli plant. Broccoli is also a really beautiful dark green color, so that tells us that it is full of vitamins and minerals that are good for our body. The next part of the plant we're going to talk about is fruit. Out of the flowers of some plants come fruits. One example is a pear. Other examples are berries, watermelons, cantaloupes, apples, there's all different types of fruits that come out of plants. 
and some of the fruits are things we eat. First, the plant has a flower that blossoms. And once the flower is done blossoming, out of the middle of the flower is where the fruit grows. Usually they start small and green, and as the fruit gets bigger and bigger, they also become darker in color. And once fruits are dark in color, it tells us that they are ripe and ready to eat. The last part of the plant we're going to talk about is seeds. One example of seeds that we eat are corn kernels. You can see on this cob of corn, lots of little pieces of corn. The corn that we eat is actually the seeds of the plant. Other examples of seeds that we eat are peas and beans. Inside of those things are the seeds. When a corn plant is growing outside, sometimes the ear of corn falls onto the ground and it dries out. And the seeds go into the ground and new corn plants can grow. You can grow a corn plant using corn kernels that are dried out. They are the seeds of the plant. I hope this video helped you learn something new about eating the different parts of plants. Fruits and vegetables are really healthy for you. And then remember, you want to eat a rainbow of foods, which means fruits and vegetables that are all different colors. Today I showed you a variety of fruits and vegetables that you can eat at home. And I hope that you remember to eat them this week as we talk more about food and nutrition. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.